Okay guys, so today we're going to look at replacing our linear antenna for this right hand circular polarised lollipop antenna, this Fox Ear. Um, and we're actually going to see if we can attach it, one of these solder plug to the board so we can always remove this antenna and exchange it out if it gets damaged or we actually want to put a, a whip back on, a linear. So, Let's get this top plate off and let's take this one off. Okay, so here we are. So what we need to do is remove this carefully and that's where we'll begin. Okay, now when doing this kind of thing you really need to make sure it's heated up properly. Last thing you want to do is to tear the tabs off. Okay, stage one. We have removed it. So now what we want to do is get rid of some of that solder. We want to do all of this fairly quickly because we don't want to heat this board up too much. That was click and clean. So now I'm going to change my tip over to an ultra fine one. And I'm going to look at whether we can put one of these plugs on. Now, on these plugs, we've got, let's see if I can hold that better for you. Here we go. So, on these plugs, each side. There's our ground and there's our active element in the middle. So that's what we're going to look to put on here. So it will sit just like that. And we don't have a lot of room here for any kind of error. Um, we don't have a lot of room can't put too much solder on because if we put too much solder on it will all flow underneath and join all the pads together and that's no good. So this is a fairly delicate little operation. I'm going to put a tiny bit of flux. on those pads to aid this and I'm going to put a tiny bit of flux on this plug and this is micro micro tiny I'm going to put just a tiny bit extra on that pad. There we go.
turn that round. So I think that's got it. Okay. There we go. So my plug was a little bit tight, I just needed a little bit of easing. So I'll get the goggles and let's give that a test. Camera plug back in. Success. Nice picture. Nice picture. Okay, job's good. In. So now, I think some hot glue would have been nice. So we're going to make this angle up So let's pop that back on gently. Have a little look. OK. 
cut that off like so. Just so you can see here. So the zip tie wrapped around. And then what we'll do is get some heat shrink. judge how much we need And then we'll take that back off. And then what we'll do this time is we're going to slot the heat shrink over and that's not going to work there we go push the antenna through the heat shrink then we're going to slide it down onto the cable tie And then we're going to locate it back on to the plug. And then we're going to come through And that isn't bad, but I think I think maybe it could have done with slightly more heat shrink. hot glue on here probably wouldn't go amiss okay so there you go you can see how I've done that
I would like some hot glue on there and I've run out so I think we might zip tie I think that's a good idea. I think we'll put the top plate on and then consider a zip tie here maybe. Let's see. What is handy is as that top plate is going on, where I put the 2mm increased up stand on there, it's actually holding the plug on to the VTX board there, which is handy. Okay. So you can see. just a touch of solder on the tip and then on each side we just made it just stick there now if you watch my other antenna mod before I did the crossfire you'll see another way to do this where I sheath this and I expose the active element and then this outer core here um, is the is the ground, is the earth. Now what you would have done is put the earth joined to those two outer pads and the active element coming through to this front one. So if you want to do it that way, if you don't want to put this plug on, um, I got these plugs from Drone Authority, um, I'll put the link and I got the two of these um, from Hobby RC, and again I'll put the link. Um, I got two because it came as two, and I'll probably do this to the standard Tiny Hawk as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to be safe, um, to make sure that the um, there's carbon can conduct. I don't want to interfere with my signal. So I'm just going to put a bit of sticky foam on top of that antenna plug. Just like that. And that's just going to give me that bit of insulation from the top plate. How does that fit on there? Does that fit on good? That does fit on there good. I was going to say I'll maybe put some of this Tessa tape on instead. But that actually holds that antenna on nice and firm without it being too much. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there we go, um, look at that. Now I've left that specifically long. Um, like I say, I could have trimmed that off, the plug off, made it shorter, um, and direct soldered it, but I wanted the adaptivity of that plug. I wanted to be able to change this to a linear, or if this gets damaged, swap it straight out. Um, I think the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to see what it's like if I put a, if I put a zip tie around that, does that do me any favours? Or is it fruit, fruitless?
it does help a little bit. All I'm trying to do there is is make it that it doesn't that can fully go down and and nothing it's not going to tear off the board and it's secured to the zip tight that the heat shrink is around. Quality. So there we go. We have our linear whip replaced. Let's see how it's like with the battery on there. Yeah, nice. And that's nice clearance. Nice clearance. And it's strong. Now I'll test that out. And if I want it to be stronger, I can put a thicker zip tie on there. That's all I'd have to do. Is put a thicker zip tie and reheat shrink it and I might do that I might oh, I could put two zip ties on there that's another option two, two of these small zip ties of different parts that is an option but it's not I think having it so it's got a bit of flex to it is a good thing. Um, in case it hits something, it's got a bit of movement, it's got a bit of give. Let's say it can easily go right down there and it doesn't tear it off the board or right that way. So I think that is a success. And then even when we get the move that back. I'm going to put the Instago back on there we're fully clearing that as well excellent ok well there you go guys that is the that's the bench bit done so we'll take it out into the field and we'll do that same flight that I did when I tested out the crossfire and we'll see if we can get better reception now VTX reception off of that excellent let's go see well it actually looks the other way around from the, from the get go but it's not that the new lollipop the picture through my goggles was so much better you can see there's break up happening straight away with the old linear antenna in the bottom right hand corner there and the lollipop is holding strong and the middle of this field this is a big cornfield um, the middle of this field is always extra break up here I don't know what it is um, there's a big TV antenna radio antenna oh, not far so it could be to do with that but you see massive break up on the original antenna there and um, it's even worse when I fly close to the field with the original antenna. That's why I've flown quite high. Um, because if I didn't, it's so bad to break up. Whereas you can see the new lollipop here. Lake's looking good. Um, it's crystal clear. And like I say, the image through my goggles is way better than this DVR. Um, it's given me a lot more confidence in how far to push it. Obviously, since having the crossfire, this is where my original RX antenna would uh, fail safe. Um, and then the new crossfire, I'm quite happy to just keep on going. Um, and you'll see in the, the bottom right there that in a minute I'm going to turn around because in my goggles, the 
VTX is, is really not looking good and I'm worried about getting it back a couple of times I've done the same trip trying to do this video and, and I didn't think I was going to get it back and there you go you can um, you can see I'm just keeping on going with the lollipop and then look at the state of the image on the linear there um, no confidence in that I, I have to keep with the original video that I'm tracking the pathways because I am worried that it's going to I'm going to lose signal and then they're going to have to go and find it so tracking the hedgerows in case I had to go and do that trek whereas look at the lollipop turn around right at the top of the hill never made it to the hill before ever um, and so confident that I'm just cruising back right across the middle of a giant cornfield um, if I lost it in that, I would be hunting around for a few hours, I can tell you. So, all the way back, that linear antenna, the static was so bad. Um, the difference of the orientation of the quad. Um, and this lollipop, amazing. I'm so confident there, looking the crossfire and the uh, the VTX transmission. That's like, yeah, let's go across the lake. No worries. I don't, I don't never do this with this drone. I've I crossed the lake with my Cinewerp and, and with my six and my five inch quad and my four inch long range explorer but um never done it with the uh the tiny hawk always been a bit worried. Um so yeah, over the moon. All the uh modifications that I've done now to this tiny hawk have turned it into a real little contender. Um I use it in situations where I can't use my bigger quads, so I strap the into the three sixty go to it. Um, to get footage and um, it's, it's a little ripper now um, I've got so much more confidence to do different stuff with it and I'm looking forward now as well to seeing what I can do with it um, it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of stuff I can get this tiny little quad uh, to do uh, because it is it is outstanding now I've got some different batteries coming different size batteries so I can test that um, get different flight times and distances and um, I'll post some more videos now soon of, of what I get up to with it so there you go guys I hope that helped um, if it was any good to you please hit that like and hit the subscribe if you want to see more videos like it nice one cheers